Lucasfilm, um, Lucasfilm. Boy, yeah, look yeah. what he started, man. Uh, yeah, George is kind of talented, you know. George is kind of talented, man. George, I, 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 I just blown away, you know. The industrial industrial light and magic was the was the uh, the genius behind the mask, you know. And it was wonderful to watch those guys work. It was incredible. Yeah, I mean, I don't think George gets enough credit. Everyone talks about Star Wars, but I don't think people understand how much he changed the entire industry with visual effects. Oh yeah. Everything, visual sound, everything, everything. He affected the whole game. He's just one of the great, great, he should have his, uh, his face should be on uh, Mount Rushmore of film. I, he sure. changed my life. I mean, yeah. literally, you know, yeah. I, um, yeah. so listen, I'm, and you can't fan. get better. That's the thing is like, you can do other great star Wars stuff because it's just a, an amazing you know, uh, an amazing well of material and ideas. But that first series of films was a mythology, like Joseph Campbell said, it was a perfect mythology, you know, and I love him. I love him for it. He's fantastic. I'll, I'll ask, I'm going to ask you, do you prefer Star Wars or do you prefer Empire Strikes Back? You know, I, 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 uh, <clears throat> I love Star Wars, but I got to tell you, Empire Strikes Back has a special place for me because there was a time, I think I was about 14 or 15 when that came out that I got the soundtrack, the John Williams, and I would put it on my headphones while I was, while I was reading late at night, I was reading Stephen King novels <laughs> and I would mix mediums. I would, I would read Salem's Lot with the with the soundtrack to Empire Strikes Back. And uh, so it has all these wild mem memory connotations for me that is wonderful, just wonderful. Sir, I could keep talking about this, but I, I wanna obviously talk about why I get to talk to you today. Um, I, I love your performance in these Sonic movies. I'm sure you hear that from everyone, but I'm still curious, how much are you doing, are you figuring things out like the night before and the weeks leading up to showing up on set and how much are you sort of discovering in the moment some of the mannerisms and the things that you would like to accomplish? It's a combination of everything. I mean, you cannot make a solid plan, you know, and then come into the set and enforce it, you know, because there are a billion artists involved and they're doing wonderful things. You know, you get to the mushroom planet and you look around and you realize that these, these, uh, artists have created an atmosphere that will affect your performance and it will affect your choices. They, those things that somebody created in a, in, you know, with poly polyurethane suddenly becomes something alive and, and, and part of the scene, a character in the scene. And I feel about inanimate objects and the style and the artistic direction of a set as a character they're characters in your piece, you know, so you have to deal with those characters. And uh, so things change and you have to stay on your feet. And uh, in the meantime, I've written a hundred jokes and five of them will get in the movie. I've, I've written, a, I've come in with a hundred ideas. I, I'm always working when I'm doing a film. I'm generally exhausted to the point of never wanting to do another film when I'm finished. And, uh, and, uh, but, you know, picture this, I, okay, I've been told, I, I read in the script that I've now got this emerald energy, this green emerald energy. And uh, how does that affect me? Well, it makes me like basically fifth, sixth and seventh dimensional where I can bend time and space and I can do whatever I want with this power. How would it affect me? And one of the ways I chose for it to affect me is that I would be as a, as a demigod would, um, you know, bored with playing and toying with human beings. I would start playing games with myself. And uh, one of the things that occurred to me is I, I called uh, Jeff, the director, and I said, I said, could I speak as if through a synthesizer? You know, uh, could I actually play the notes on an imaginary keyboard and you could bring them to life later on? You know, so my, my game is next level and whatever it is, you know, and uh, this is just me walking around in my underwear in my apartment, you know, and and uh, and I'll come up with you know, I'll come up with 
30 to 50 ideas in a day. And, you know, a few of them will go in and every once in a while, one of them will be something the audience has never seen before. And that's what I count on. I carpet bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I already got to stop. I'm just going to say thank you so much for all of your work. Thank I'm a really you. big fan. I really thank want to you. say thank you. I appreciate that very much. Thank you.